Some people were occupying themselves with games, in the meantime, they came across a large and odd thing like a large egg. They start by mocking it while also causing it harm, they have no idea what's within, what exactly is the problem. This is a common misunderstanding, they are all sleepy after having a party. They sleep in their own cars, in the morning, they all wake up one by one, one of the girl's names is Marcia, she had fallen asleep on the table last night, as she wakes up, her condition worsens, she has started vomiting. They're all convinced it's due to the road, Marcia had an odd feelings herself, then a young girl notices a bird sitting on the sand, that bird was in great condition, the sand, on the other hand, begins to absorb it, as if it were a swamp. The young lady shows concern, she then warns her friends, Marcia, not to walk on the beach, there is a danger, Marcia, though, has stepped on sand before she can listen to her, her shoes were slipping deeper and deeper into the sand, she attempted to remove her foot, but she was unable to do it, her foot was going to be moved out with her hands, her hands were likewise immersed in the sand as a result of it, she screams in terror as she grows afraid. When her pals are also confined, how can they help her? No one seemed to know what they should do, when one of Marcia's pals notices her state, he exits his vehicle, even though everyone forbids him, he refuses to listen, what more can they do but watch him disappear into the sand? They are all terrified and intend to flee as soon as possible. The driver's seat of the car was occupied by a young child named Jonah, he tries to start the automobile once more, but he couldn't pull it off, after that, we witness a healthy man playing a drum, his pals advised him not to move when he was ready to do so. If you move and fall, you will be carried away by the sand. Are you kidding me? The man exclaims, with his eyes, he hasn't seen anything, he was in agony and was sleeping, he gets up and starts walking, according to the boy, someone would come to our aid in two hours. We've called, and they'll come get us if you stay here, please listen to what I'm saying so the man will agree, despite the fact that nothing like this had happened before, no help was on the way, they were all stranded, Marcia's friend informs them that they had all partied the day before on this beach, why wasn't this sand bothering us earlier? Were there any other people with them when they left? Those people, they assume, went into the sand as well. They aren't stuck in the sand, though, because they weren't directly on it, they were either in their cars or on a high vantage point. Meanwhile, the healthy man begins to scream once more. The sun's rays irritate him, he complains, his pal hurls sunscreen in his face, and claim that if you use it, you will feel better. From fluency they view the object that they discover at night, they harmed it while it was not visible at night, that large item was an egg, and they shattered it into a tremendous mess, it was split into two parts, according to Jonah, there is nothing we can do we must take a step forward for ourselves, he grabs a skateboard and tries to ride it to the table. He was able to walk on it successfully, but as he got closer to the table, the skateboard began to slip, his feet were also slipping, and he came perilously close to the sand as he slipped, something comes out of the sand and touches his belly as a result of it, Jonah, on the other hand, is unfazed and swiftly climbs up to the table. There was a food bag on the table, he takes a banana from a bag and eats it, after eating it, he started vomiting, there were numerous wounds on his tummy as he looked at it, the object that came from the sand was the one who did it, after seeing this, they're all terrified. This is nothing, Jonah says, just think about your safety. From fluency then there's a discomfort in Jonah's gut, his wounds were also oozing blood, his pal becomes depressed and begins to cry, don't cry Jonah tells her, we're all tough. There was a place for Jonah to lie down, meanwhile, a girl in the car informs them that their cell phones are in the trunk, we need to take them so that we can summon help. Nobody wants to risk their car's boot not opening while they're sitting here, I'll do it, said a female, she tries to open the boot, but it refuses to open, she makes her way to the other side, she was offered a piece of cloth by a black haired girl, so she can grasp it tightly and avoid falling into the sand. However, she is still unable to fully open the car's boot, then Jonah's pal has her hold a rod, she invites her to give it a shot, they all warn him that we're in great peril, he was ready to get out of his automobile, which he had parked close to them, they all scream at you not to step on the sand. When the man emerges, they are all taken aback by the fact that the sand has had no impact on him, he goes to Jonah first, when he sees his stomach, he is taken aback, who is responsible for all of this? After that, he tries to take the healthy man out of the drum, however, his weight was too great for him to bear, and he couldn't do it by himself, 
In a few minutes, he says, I'll call my squad. They'll get you all out of here safely, but I'm not sure what you're doing here. A friend of Jonah's tries to tell him everything. Our friend's fingers have become caught in the boot of the automobile. She informs him. The supervisor approaches her but is unable to assist her. Jonah's companion begins to yell, Why are you misbehaving with me? The supervisor demands as she approaches her. What exactly is your issue? Aren't you seeing that we're in trouble? She asks, We won't be able to go on the sand. Our two companions have already been engulfed by the sand. Don't draw me into these games, says the supervisor. If there's something like this, how am I supposed to stand on the sand? Come down right away. However, Jonas and her friends did not descend since they were aware that they could lose their lives. The supervisor draws his weapon, and his keys also fall to the sand. They all told him he couldn't put his hand in the sand. He doesn't listen when his hand hits the sand to pick up his keys. The sand became lodged in his hand. In the cabin, Jonas pal converses with her companion. They realize the sand didn't harm the supervisor. He wears sturdy shoes that resemble towels, which suggests fibers, toss towels at me, said the child to his friends, we'll tie them up with our feet and then move on. He falls from the cabin when his companions throw towels at him while collecting them. Many things tumble down on him, such as roots emerging from the sand, which could be the creature's tentacles. They became entangled in his body and began sucking his blood. It happens to him in the same way that it does to the others. It implies that he vanishes into the sand. For his pals, it was a traumatic experience. The black-haired girl begins to cry and covers her ears with her hands. Jonah's friend assures her that everything will be all right. She instructs her to position the grill exactly where she wants it, then adds another grill before leaping from the cabin into the automobile. She slaps the black-haired girl as she gets inside the car. Because she had intended to come here, this, on the other hand, was not her fault. They are successful in extracting the girl's fingers from the boot of the automobile. Jonah's pal wraps a towel around her wrist. On the other hand, there is a healthy man who is frustrated because he is stuck in the D-drum. Because he was stuck in it, his body began to enlarge and begin to bleed. Some tentacles emerge from the sand when blood pours into it. If they find out there is a person, they may assault the healthy man. From fluency Jonah is approached by a black-haired female. Because her hand was bleeding, the girl whose fingers were jammed in the boot requested Jonah's companion to leave. The beast will attack us if it falls on the sand. Jonah's pal tracks him down, finally, the girl with the broken fingers steps across the grill, we watch a black-haired female begin to walk after tying a number of towels over her feet, she is unaffected by the sand. She was ecstatic, and she was standing in the supervisor's car right now, the healthy man grew thrilled and began to enjoy himself when he saw her, they'll be out of here in no time, but he had no notion that those tentacles had emptied the bottom of his drum, those tentacles became larger and became attached to his body, they dragged him down into the sand, he also perishes as a result of it. This creature grows in size, because it has devoured a large number of people, its tentacles have also grown in strength, it gets close to the supervisor's car and starts moving it. Because of this, the black-haired girl falls on the automobile, and when her head touches the car, she passes out, the companion of Jonah was left alone. Others were in even worse condition, someone's stomach felt upset, and they passed out, the darkness appears, and she feels afraid, the black-haired girl comes to her senses as darkness falls, he carries Jonah to the car from an air tub she placed there, when Jonah's friend comes up behind them, the creature uses its tentacles to close the car door, the creature's tentacles were glowing, which was unexpected, a blue glow began to appear. Jonah's companion maintains his bravery, when she gets closer to the car, she notices a gas can nearby, the monster in possession of the can was not sparing it. Jonah's companion takes up the other cane without wasting any time. She splatters gasoline all over the automobile. As a result, some gasoline drips on the creature, which she ignites. The creature's tentacles catch fire as a result. When it starts to yearn, Jonah's pal runs inside the vehicle. She shuts the door behind her. The creature makes an attempt to unlock the door. As a result, the monster's strength is reduced as a result of the burning. It quickly dissolves in the sand. They were exhausted and terrified because it was too late at night. They spend the night in the car. In the morning, someone knocks on their car mirror. He had the appearance of a police officer. When Jonah's friend comes out to see what's going on, she places her feet on the sand, but they don't sink in. The black-haired girl also emerges with it. From there, they proceed. The creature died last night as a result of the fire.